Hey everybody, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be going through this new announcement of 7-Eleven's new EV charging network called 7Charge. So this isn't just for 7-Eleven stores, but it's also for the other brands that 7-Eleven owns, so that includes Speedway and Stripes convenience stores, um, so it's a bit more than just 7-Eleven locations. But um, this article right here was, this is pretty much the press release that 7-Eleven has prepared here. Um, so we're just going to be going over this article real quick. And then I'm going to go ahead and give my thoughts on 7-Eleven's plan here. You know, how good how good of an idea is this? What, what kind of things might they be able to do differently with this network? Things like that. The article was published on March 16th, and it starts off by saying that today 7-Eleven has announced 7-Charge its new proprietary EV charging network and app that delivers a convenient and reliable fast charging experience at select 7-Eleven stores in the U.S. and coming soon to Canada. 7-Eleven intends to build one of the largest and most compatible electric vehicle fast charging networks of any retailer in North America with the launch of 7-Charge, which is already delivering fast charging services to customers in several locations in Florida, Texas, Colorado, and California. Now, I'd like to point out that they say they're already delivering this experience to customers in these states. And based on what I'm seeing in the app, it seems like the earliest review was at a station in California. Um, and that person charged their vehicle there in July of 2022. So it seems like they've been slowly building this out over time, probably starting around the middle of last year. Now, continuing with the article here, they say the 7 Charge Network will offer EV drivers 7-Eleven's trademark convenience and accessibility. 7 Charge sites allow customers to charge any EV make and model compatible with common CHAdeMO or combined charging system CCS plug types. And the 7 Charge app offers a new level of convenience and coordination to customers looking for a seamless charging and payment experience. The 7Charge app can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play or by visiting 7-Eleven.com slash 7Charge. Now, the first thing I want to point out here is that they're choosing to go with Chatamo and CCS at these stations. Personally, if, if I were doing this, I would probably stick with just CCS because Chatamo is kind of falling out of style. There's not many automakers using Chatamo anymore, so I would probably just go with CCS if I was the one running this, but... Um, this is what they're choosing to do here. Um, the second thing is, you know, the app that they mention here for the first time. Um, the app is fairly good. Right now, I, you know, I was using it to check out the stations, looking at those reviews. Um, some people had a good experience. Some people didn't have a good experience. The chargers were already broken in some instances. But um, those are just some of the issues that come up with the new network. Um, but the app so far... As far as the software goes in the app itself is pretty smooth some other charging apps they're very 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 laggy so it's just horrible to use those apps you really don't want to be using them and it's a really bad experience to use i of course I, there's none none of these chargers are around where i live um quite yet but um so far using the app it's been a pretty good experience it's been pretty smooth Again, though, there, there's really not that many chargers out there, so maybe if they add more chargers and as there's more, you know, things popping in and out of the map, moving around, um, maybe it will get laggier and more difficult to use over time if, if they do add more chargers to the map. And currently, um, it does seem to be only the chargers that are part of the 7 charge network itself, so there's no other kind of roaming chargers that are listed on this app. Um, some other you know, charging apps will have those listed there, but 7Charge so far does not. But it does seem like they are going to be adding that feature sometime in the future, but it's not there quite yet. 7-Eleven CEO says that for over 95 years, 7-Eleven has innovated to meet our customers' needs, delivering convenience where, when, and how they want it, said Joe DePinto, President and Chief Executive Officer at 7-Eleven. Now we are innovating once again to meet our customers where they are by expanding our business to provide EV drivers convenience of the future today. The 7 Charge Network will deliver on the growing consumer need for EV charging infrastructure. By expanding the 7 Charge Network while continuing to utilize third-party fast charging network options, 7-Eleven will have the ability to grow its network to match consumer demand and make EV charging available to neighborhoods that have, until now, lacked access. 
Once the network's expansion is complete, 7-Eleven will have one of the largest and most compatible fast charging networks of any retailer in North America, serving communities and customers at charging stations across its entire family of brands, including Speedway and Stripe stores. So that's a pretty important detail here that I haven't seen a lot of other people talking about, is that this is going to Speedway and Stripes stores as well. So having read that, I do think it's a good idea that 7-Eleven is getting their foot in the door here. Um, obviously, they don't have a massive presence yet. Um, they only have a handful of chargers across all of the states that they're operating in. So they're kind of almost just testing this out at, at this point. But um, I do think it's a good idea that they are getting into this at the very least. Now, as for what I think they're doing well and what they should be doing differently... First of all, I think it's a good idea to be using DC fast chargers over level 2 chargers for these stores. Of course, these are convenience stores, so you're not going to be sticking around there for very long. Level 2 chargers win over DC fast chargers for locations where customers are kind of staying there for a few hours or more. Um, so for those cases, it's much cheaper to just install level 2 chargers. But for something like 7-Eleven here with their convenience stores, I do think it's a good idea to go with DC fast chargers. Now, on the other hand, the specific models of EV chargers that 7-Eleven has decided to purchase for this network are kind of on the slower side of DC fast chargers. Um, they're only going up to 90 kilowatts. So, you know, you're not really going to be able to charge your car that quickly, even with these DC fast chargers, because they are on the slower side. At 90 kilowatts, it could take more than an hour to charge your car to 90%. So obviously this is far off from the vision that 7-Eleven has for this, but it's going to take a number of years, if not decades, to get to that point in time. And I'm sure they know that, but they're just trying to get their foot in the door here. Another thing I already mentioned is the use of the Chatamo plug on these charging units. I would probably just go with two CCS plugs just because Chatamo is on the way out. So I think it would just be, it would just make a lot more sense for the future to just have two CCS plugs on there. But that's about it for today's video. Be sure to check out some of my other videos. I've got lots of videos on EV charging if this is a topic you're interested in. And I've got a new video up on Neo's battery swapping, whether or not that's a good idea for the long run. So be sure to check out some of my other videos and I'll see all of you in the next video.